Okay guys, so I just got my lashes done by my lash tech. Fussy lashes. I'm so extra. Okay. So she does all of my lashes. Every single time you see extensions, it's by her. And I just need to get a fill. You see me, you see her. Period. For... Like she does and such a great job. Hair. Check her out. She has a YouTube yeah. channel. I'll link it down below. I'll also link her um instagram page so you can book her but yeah she does all of my lashes oh tell them all about my lashes this is a cat eye cat eye 2.0 right. that's all you need to know yeah now i'm about to leave i'm going to meet um have a brand development session for my brand xiaomi i'm gonna take you guys for that and yeah um you'll see how the rest of my day goes i'm bringing you guys along it might be a weekly a whole week vlog we'll see how this works out but yeah say bye Bye. Okay, so I am now out to brunch with my best friend and also she has a brand development business. She is the bomb, she is the truth. I'm gonna do a full video about um, my process and starting my business and working with her so you guys can get more details about her. But um, do you, would you like to say hi real quick? I'm going to leave all the links for her information down below. And like I said, I'm going to get more information. But basically, like, just quickly to give you guys a rundown, before I launched Xiaomi, she was the person who helped me basically turn my idea of my brand into a fully formed business. And um, I owe so much to her. Like, not only is she my best friend, my hair looks on my soul, I'm trying not to try. Not only is she my best friend, but she's extremely talented and really really smart like her brain and how it works and how she sees business and marketing and branding is so fascinating to see like I've seen her work with multiple brands not only mine I've seen her do such amazing incredible work but right now we're basically doing like an update on Xiaomi we have a few things in the works for the brand and so you're gonna just basically see us have our little meeting and I'm gonna take you along the week to see how you know a few of the things that we chatted about how it kind of came into few fruition and yeah look forward to the video where i speak about um how i launched my brand because i'm go going to get into the nitty-gritty of what a brand development session is like and why i would recommend it for any entrepreneur starting their own business um i don't know if you guys can hear me very well i'm on my phone i'm not on my camera with my mic so i'm going to switch this over to just like you know you're just seeing us chit chat okay hey guys i am back i am back on my regular camera earlier today i was filming on my camera but i wanted to give you guys a little update so after getting my lashes done and meeting with my brand strategist i'm back home with my sweetie Jaden. i recently did some brand content for my social media me? accounts and it got it was received very well Thanks. And I have seen an increase in not only sales, but also traffic on my website, which is really good. So I'm going to ship out orders. I, today's Monday. I ship out orders every Tuesday and Thursdays. Those are the days that I try to allot to shipping out so that I don't um, overwhelm myself. My life just be, becomes consumed with making orders and shipping things out as you guys are watching me on youtube you guys know i'm a youtuber i'm a content creator i do other things and um having my shea you butter know, body i am a youtuber too okay i just don't want my life to be at a place where i'm consumed with doing one thing and i'm neglecting anything else and that happens a lot because um i am someone that is not the best at multitasking and um I can start a few different projects and not finish them, but I'm working on that. Working on having myself a little bit more disciplined, having more structure, and and um, getting myself more on a schedule so that I can get more things done in my day. And whether you're an entrepreneur or not, I think everybody can benefit from, from that. And I'm just looking forward to just seeing a lot of the things that um i want for my life for my business for my youtube channel all of those things to kind of fall into line because i've been really consistent and sticking to certain things so 
yeah I am going to finish packing up my orders making my and um that's pretty much it for the rest of today tomorrow is going to be doing a lot of the prep work for the photo shoot on Wednesday so I will be taking you guys with me I actually did my hair I slicked it down Can I come to to what to the, to the picture um maybe maybe not why maybe or not because I just feel like you won't have that much fun. And I'll get more things done if you were with grandma. That's when we'll have fun and fun. Hello, beautiful people. Happy Tuesday. Today's going to be a very, very busy day. Jaden is going to be coming along with us. Um, my photo shoot okay. for Xiaomi is with us, them, and me. And you're going to be along on the ride. Today's going to be the day when I do my prep. So I'm going to go get my nails done. I had to take my other nail set off. I love my nails. I love my nail tech, Ashley. She is absolutely wonderful, so talented. But the colors of my nails wouldn't go with the theme of the photo shoot. I wanted something a little bit more neutral. So I'm going to, I took off my nails. I'm just going to go get a gel manicure um, from this place not too far from my house. And after that, I'm going to go to Zara to pick up a look. I wanted, so for my photo shoot, I have two different looks. I can do different poses in each of the different looks. But one look I have kind of in my mind of how I want it to look like. Um, and then another look I wanted to do like a green turquoise color. Um, which is another one of my brand colors that was developed by my brand strategist Sada so this is why I really think having um, a brand strategist on board when you are launching your business is so important because it makes it really easy when I'm doing a photo shoot or doing anything really um, creating content because I know what colors to kind of stick with clean what up I will clean that but we got to go um, so after I do that I have to go to Target to pick up something for my hair because um, I'm going to be doing my hair over and I have to go to the beauty supply store to get some developer as well because I'm going to be um, bleaching my hair over my roots are growing in and I want my hair to look really really you know brand new so yeah i'm gonna take you guys along with us Jaden ate breakfast i did not so we'll probably go and get some food we're going to go to a nail salon nearby in brooklyn chill oh i also have to ship out some xiaomi packages i already have them um in a bag and ready to go so that might be one of the last things that i do but we shall see so yeah come along with us for this very very busy day I just finished getting my nails done. This is how they look. Something really simple, neutral. I just figured it would be like a really good color to go with since I'm not really sure what exactly I'm gonna find. Jaden and I stopped to go get some food at Chevella's. This is my second day here. I was here yesterday and I came back. I was gonna try another place called Silver Rice, which is a sushi place, but they're not open right now. And I just didn't feel like waiting, so I decided to come here. I know the food is good. We ordered steak and eggs, some plantains for Jaden. Um, I also got a strawberry fresca, strawberry mint fresca drink. Saya. Huh? Saya. What does that mean? Saya. Sign up. Side. Sunny side up. Yes. We got sunny side up eggs with that. Um, and I thought he was saying shut it up. I'm like, what the f are you talking? Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna get. I'll show you guys what we ordered. A lot of times, I'm really trying to eat something different from the menu. I usually like just get tacos, and that's boring because they have a really good menu and the food is always good. So I was sure what I got with you guys when it comes. And Jaden is chilling on his tablet. Yeah, I really like my nails. My natural nails are growing really nicely thanks to the work um, of Ashley. Just, yeah. Like it a lot. And strawberry mint fresca came out and I absolutely love it. It's not like french fries. Yeah. They don't have french fries here though. That's why I got you some plantains. No, they just don't have french fries. You know what's so funny? When I came here with Sada yesterday, she really wanted french fries too. I did too. Mm -hmm. So here is the steak and eggs. We also got a side of plantains. Jaden loves plantains. 
and this is delicious this is absolutely delicious i'm so glad that he recommended this to me because i would not have known if they had this i think that underneath is like salsa verde i believe this is like a mashed um plants let me try it again yeah i think it's like a mashed potato or mashed plants with the egg on top oh did you guys see that I mean, the flavor is there. Everything is delicious. I'm so glad Mommy, that I got this. Yeah, you can have some of the egg. All right, let me finish eating it. So the hash that's on the bottom is at—it's a hash. It's like a potato hash with like some meat in it. It is delicious. It is so so delicious. And I think there's a salsa verde underneath that. I mean, the flavors. So I love this place. Like the flavors are so good, so 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 good. Mm. So I finally found a place. There's so much scaffolding. There's so much scaffolding on Fulton that I just could not find it. And I was walking in circles to find it. But here's a Zara. It was next to the Chase Bank. So I'm going to go in. Hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. If not, I will share what I find. But I did see a big H&M. So if I don't see what I need to find at Zara, I'm going to go there to see if I can find something too. Nothing to do with the shoot for tomorrow, but I did get three pairs of shoes from the Zara sale. Um, the dress that I saw that I thought would be perfect for the photo shoot just didn't fit really well. And then it's like a slip dress, so I'm like, you know what? I have that animal printed slip dress from Fashion Nova that I didn't wear. So I'm gonna actually wear that for the photo shoot. Right now I'm trying to find a bathroom because both Jaden and I have to use the bathroom. And um, there's an H&M. Um, if you guys can see, I don't know. Right here. So yeah, we're gonna go to the H&M after that. And yeah, wish me luck. Maybe I'll find something there, but like, I'm just kinda, I don't wanna say I'm over it. It's not too late, but I have been doing a lot of running around and I haven't even gone to Target yet. Things in New York City change so much. I'm gonna switch y'all around. Like, look at this. I haven't even been over here. Also, just to kind of give myself some slack, this pandemic had me locked in the house. I'm not broken. I don't know how to use this elevator. I have no idea how to use this elevator. Call button. I'm just pressing. What does it say? Call button. Okay. I did. I just couldn't figure out how to use a uh, elevator. Um, but yeah, there's the Warwick Chase Center, and I'm heading downstairs. I figured this should be a bathroom, but who knows? <laughs> Here's another thing that I feel like when you're a New Yorker, there's a lot of things that are just very touristy, and most New Yorkers just don't do these kinds of things. So. This is one of them. Like, I just, I think I came here one time. I did a photo shoot. I did some freelance work here. And it was, you know, a cute little photo shoot. But New Yorkers don't just come here just for the sake of coming here, you know? Like, very touristy. They have some of, like, really nice shopping areas. Oh, I actually came here one time. Um to the Apple store. There's an Apple store.
happy Wednesday I got to take you guys on my brand photo shoot and it was so wonderful I'm gonna I probably put all the clips and behind the scenes shots that Jen took for me just to give you guys a little backstory about where I was and who I was shooting with I was shooting with shot by P that's his Instagram name which I will leave down below he has a studio actually it's a family owned business PJ and Jen um, Jen is actually a friend of mine but also owns the studio with her partner who is the photographer of the space he has and he make he does excellent work I and mean, had it on my list of people to work with for my brand I've wanted to work with him when I launched Naomi I was like I'm gonna do a photo shoot with him for my brand and I finally did it it was very impulsive I booked the photo shoot last week and um you know you know leading up to the photo shoot I was like what why did I do that like why didn't I give myself more time I really have been wanting to do like a group photo shoot with a few of my friends and just show us on all different body shapes and all these different things you know and obviously with me doing it so last minute wasn't able to do that and was kind of feeling regretful for you know spending the money for this photo shoot and not doing the shoot that I really wanted to do however although I can do my own photography work and do stuff in my own home myself with my camera and my equipment pj's work is just excellent and i was just blown away like the photos i haven't even seen the finished product but the photos so far were just so wonderful i'm just so happy that i took that leap and that risk and um you know i invested in my business and i'm just so happy with how the work is going to turn out so super super excited for that i was also able to take jade in the studio space is really really nice if you guys are looking for a photographer and you're in the new york city area i highly recommend working with him he has great work and i will link his instagram down below also if you just wanted to like use the studio space to do your own work you can also do that which is also really nice we actually had to leave because someone was just booking this space. So that is also something that you can do. And it's a family-owned business. So, you know, support families. You know, that's what we want to do. We just want to hold it down and support people like us as much as we can, you know. So that's pretty much it for the rest of my day. After the photo shoot, Jaden and I went to a spot around here to get some food. But Jaden wasn't feeling good. He said his stomach was hurt and he gets car sick. And sometimes, and I get car sick too. And sometimes it's like kind of hard to get your body back adjusted. He also had snacks the whole time that we were at the photo shoot. So his diet is just kind of off today. So I'm just going to let him chill out. I'm about to go and get some dinner for my mom. And dessert for us as well. And that's pretty much the end of my day. I might check in a little bit later to do like, I like to reflect at the end of the day about my day and just kind of bask in all of the wonderful things i'm just life is just so weird and like you always have moments where you just feel like like lately i've been feeling really down and just feeling like i'm just not doing enough and i'm not at the place that i want to be in my life and just kind of really hard being really really hard on myself and then you have moments like this where it's just like things go well and I was you know nervous this morning about the photo shoots about my makeup not looking right and my outfits not looking right and not having the shoot that I was thinking I really wanted to do next and everything turned out wonderful and I'm just so grateful so thank you again to Jen and PJ your work was like your customer service and just your kindness and your work I'm just like I'm blown away I'm just you see my cheeks and like how big they are I'm just so excited and when you're a business owner when you're an entrepreneur you're always like you know taking risks is really scary and it's like you know you kind of there comes to a point where it's like you you're just kind of scared about taking risks like am I going to get the return on the investment that's kind of always what you're thinking about as an entrepreneur like is this investment worth it and I do think that this investment is well worth money and I look forward to working with him again because well, this doesn't look the most appetizing but I went to a bakery around here called Cake Boy. This was their caramel nut crumble I think that was the name of it and I sliced it in half I'm sharing it with my mom and they're red velvet and it's so decadent and so moist but they have something else there that I really wanted to show you guys. They have cookies with Jay-Z's face on it. You see his fitted cap and his lips? That's so funny.
Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, it is Friday morning still and today I plan on creating some content. I didn't take you guys with me for anything yesterday because yesterday was a pretty... I was exhausted yesterday and I was moving really, really slow. It was shipment day. I had to ship out some packages and then we went to go visit my aunt. So it was a very chill day, nothing too crazy. But yesterday I spontaneously decided to plan a mini trip for Jaden and I to go to Disney in the next few weeks in the um, first or second week of September so I'm very much looking forward to that and that just kind of like happened yesterday I know I knew that I wanted to go back to Disney um, I knew that I wanted a vacation and I really did plan on going back to Disney for my birthday which I very well may do um, I enjoy Disney World I think that I take my kid because I know he'll like it but I actually enjoy it and because I personally feel more comfortable when I go on trips being able to take him. I know that he'll like it there, so I'm looking forward to going. Um, so that's going to happen, which is great. Today, I will be filming some content. I'm going to take Jaden with me to um, Prospect Park. We're going to have a picnic. I'm going to have like a little spread of food and drinks. And then also showcase the Xiaomi Mini Body Butters. Just to show how travel friendly it is. How easy it is for you to pack and take with you wherever you're going. So that's going to be the concept of today's photo shoot. It's going to actually be a video. I'm going to use it as like promo for my Instagram page. And obviously get some photos. But it's going to be a really fun content day. I'll probably come home back home around 6 o'clock and get ourselves ready for bed um this week i think i mentioned um his dad is not in town so it's been me and Jaden all week and honestly it has been a great week taking Jaden with me and doing all the work that i had to do this week with him with me was really great because he never really had a dull moment to like So, um, and it's also fun because he feels like he's involved and he's interacting with the things that I'm doing and he sees, he's able to see, like, the process of it all. So that's been really fun. Yesterday we had a really, really chill day. I shipped out some packages, went to visit my aunt. So I didn't take you guys with me, but I do want to take you guys with me for today. The weather is beautiful. It is a nice day outside. It is sunny outside. And we are just going to have a great day. So I'm going to get myself together. Stay tuned. I still have to show you guys what I purchased the other day from Zara and H&M. I wore one of the H&M dresses yesterday. And I might wear the other one today. But I'm not sure. But I will be showing you guys that um, either later on today or tomorrow. So look forward for that. Let me get myself dressed and ready. We already had a breakfast. And um, yeah. I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you guys how I create some Xiaomi video and photo. Hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so today is saturday night so this is gonna be the last day of my weekly vlog i am talking a little low because Jaden is sleeping and he's not feeling so well so i'm gonna talk low i don't want to sleep he's laying in my bed um i feel like he just had like allergies that triggered like a sinus cold like a regular cold and he's just getting over it he's been coughing stuffy nose we went to go get covid tested today and he's a-okay which makes me really glad to hear but he's recovering but i did not want to end my vlog without sharing some of the things that i received during this week i got a lot of packages that honestly i haven't even opened and some things that i got from zara so i want to show you guys what i got i went to zara and h&m the day when i went shopping on tuesday and i got this really nice long simple maxi dress it has an opening 
in the bag and it also ties which is really nice it's just like a very easy summer dress dresses like this honestly i usually stray away from because they don't really look nice with bras and i need to wear a bra but i do have a strapless bra that is brown and although it is like you do see it in the back it's not as bad i got this dress in this white color as well as in my like gum it's blue but it's not like a very bright blue it's kind of like similar to like a denim blue color and this was only i believe 19.99 yeah 19.99 and i got it in a size medium so i got that in two colors and then i got these really nice um pants if i can find them on the website i'll pop them up but i have them currently in my washing machine because i've worn it and unfortunately got a stain on it the very first day the very first day that i wore them typical me stuff um so from zara that's where i really like bought a few things that day when i went shopping i was hoping to find some things for the photo shoot that i did for Xiaomi, which i did on wednesday but i ended up um not using anything that i bought that day and used some things that i already had meaning that i did not need to buy a thing but um i showed you guys this on wednesday but i did want to show you guys a closer up view of it so this is the cut out side cut out tank top rib tank top that i got from zara they had this in green they had it in white black and also brown and it's just so cute it has really nice cutouts if you want it you can make it the small the hole a little smaller so if you don't feel very comfortable showing your size you can make it smaller and wear something high waist so it doesn't show your belly i just really like this really fun side cut out detail i thought it was really fun and interesting and i love this color of green it's probably already know by now if you have been watching some of the things that i bought for the summer i bought a lot of green pieces another thing that i picked up this actually i picked up for Jaden, but it is a nintendo game boy bag and i saw it on the model and i just thought it was so cute also um just for pricing that last piece was 12.99 this bag is $22.90. It's just really cute. I honestly, this is obviously nostalgic to me and my life and that's why I picked it up. Who knows if Jaden will ever care to wear it. Maybe I'll end up wearing it before he does. But we are going on a trip to Disney. So I'll most likely take that out with this so that he can hold um, any little things. Maybe like a little who like little snacks his little go-go's applesauce and um hand sanitizer these small little bags do come in handy because then i don't have to be responsible for holding everything for him okay y'all so let me show you guys the shoes that i got from the zara sale they had the zara sale pieces which wasn't a lot on the top floor of the flat iron zara that which is close to the world trade center area if you get off at fulton street in in manhattan this is where it's at and these are the shoes that i got so i got these sandals which are really cute they do not seem like the most comfortable shoes although that um the label claims that it is these shoes were nine dollars and 99 cents so i just feel like this color the sandal will go with anything and at this point if i'm going to buy a sandal it has to be under 20 dollars because the summertime is almost over these were ten dollars and original price was 59.99 so really really great steal i also picked up these heels so these are a pair of black mules i just thought that they were so cute so cute the heel is not really high so they're easy to work walk in i usually wear a size seven. Oh wait let me tell you the size i got in other ones i usually wear a size seven and these i got I got these in a size seven and a half i try to get like a size seven and a half if i can only because i want it to be really really comfortable and in these shoes i actually got them in a size eight because this part is a little tight and i wanted it to be comfortable i was able to try it on in the store because i had on my chanel dad's dad sandals which are easy to get in and out of these were 19.99 i just feel like heels like this are really nice either with a nice dress or like if you're wearing like long jeans like jeans like a straight leg and long and you kind of have a covering the top but then you just see this like I just feel like it's really cute and when you're wearing jeans you do want to wear a heel that is comfortable because jeans are a little bit more casual and I just feel like with this heel just very very comfortable and yeah I'm really glad that I was able to get these they're very cute and I am happy with my purchase these are actually real genuine leather so and it does say that at on the back so i do not believe my last shoe 
was leather but these are leather and last but not least this was the shoe that blew me away the most so this shoe i bought in a size seven and a half but here are the shoes isn't this so cute so this is just like a very popular style shoe right now this is definitely like a dupe or something similar to the bottega mule really really cute definitely in the same color green bottega green that i got my other heels in but these are more comfortable they kind of feel like i'm not even kidding these shoes kind of feel like slippers they were just so comfortable like i feel like i'm definitely going to want to get my money's worth and wear these like when i'm going out i would just want to easily slip these on these can go with a dress can mules are like such a versatile heel i think i think you can dress it up and dress it down and the green is just really what stood out the most to me and the screen actually matches perfectly with my top that i got from zara so definitely happy about finding out a really cute outfit to match those two together but so comfortable this was also twenty dollars and the original price was eighty dollars so really nice you know price discount on these all right so let me show you guys what i got in the mail so i actually did a video on my black owned handbag collection and in that video i said that i was waiting for my telfer bag to come in the mail I ordered a Telfer bag from the bag security system and I was waiting for it to come in the mail and it did. So let's unbox it together. Okay, so it comes in this plastic bag that has Telfer's name on it when it was established, a year, all of that. And it also comes in a dust bag, which I love to be able to, you know, wrap up my Telfer bag in a in the dust bag when I'm traveling or just put the dust bag inside of the bag to keep it shape. And here is the bag. I got the orange small Telfer bag. This was the first Telfer bag that I wanted. And when I ordered on the website to get my yellow one, which was my first one, all of the colors were available and I did not get the orange one for whatever reason. I got the yellow and then all of a sudden Telfer for bags were super popular and I missed out on getting this color and I was able to get it through the bag security system. So I actually placed an order for this bag before my first trip to Disney. I believe I may have placed my order in March, like the ending of March. And I just got this bag this week. So they do let you know that they were going to ship out bags. I think this said anywhere between like the ending of July and early September. So I knew that there I wasn't going to get my bag anytime soon when I ordered it in March. But the same week that they said they were shipping out bags is when I got mine. So that's really good. And my sister also ordered with the bag security system and got her bag maybe three weeks ago maybe even more maybe three weeks ago and a friend of hers ordered her bag through Telfer's bag security system and got hers like a long time ago too maybe two months ago so you never know you might be one of those lucky people that gets it before it ships out I was not but I'm still very happy with my purchase I was expecting to wait a long time for it and for those who are unfamiliar with the bag security system it is basically their way of making sure that people who want specific colors get the color and they basically make it to order and um i really like that and i will be ordering with the bag security system again yes it takes a long time and it can be kind of like annoying but the reality is i knew i was going to still like the bag and it was a color that i wanted and i'm glad that i now have it in my collection it is my third telfer bag and i will be buying many more okay so i ordered two yato bags so Yato, if you guys are unfamiliar, is the New York City-based handbag line. Um, they do sell other people's pieces, I believe, but right now the only thing they sell or are known for are their handbags, they're not bags. They retail between 100 and something dollars to sometimes 200 and something dollars, depending on the bag, I think. No, yeah, maybe. Um, but they're New York City-based, and they're really popular out here, and I got one for their Mother's Day collection, and they did a full restock on their website and i was able to purchase any color that i wanted and i purchased two now when they said that initially how i saw it was you're gonna buy the bag and they're gonna send it out to you automatically that's what it, it was giving on the website like they had all the 
the products available to ship out but um later on they said that it was gonna take three to four weeks for bags to ship out i purchased my bag on june 20 something and um i got my bag a few days ago three days ago this week so i was not happy with how long it was going to take it was not very clear to many people that they were getting their bags like within a matter of weeks uh, everyone that i know who purchased a bag was pretty upset that it was taking so long so i know it wasn't just me so now that i have it like yeah i'm excited like i think if i would have known that it was a pre-order or it you know because usually when you do pre-order you have to wait a few weeks for it to ship out I would have had that expectation to wait longer and now that it came so late I'm just kind of like over it you know um and I, I feel bad saying that before showing you guys if you guys are actually interested but I did want to say like you might be someone watching who ordered from them and have the same thing going on so you're not alone I purchased it in their Kelly green color so um yes their bandana print this is my first time getting the bandana print bag and here it is all right here it goes has the standard there's no pocket in the inside it just has the yato tag on the inside and it has their thank you card um on the inside it just says yato thank you for shopping with us and then their website um also I got another Yato bag. I purchased, like I said earlier, I purchased two colors because I couldn't decide. And orange is my second favorite color right now. It's either green or orange, so I got it in their orange color. It's the orange one. And same thing. There's no pockets on the inside. It just has the Yato logo right here. And the knot bag is essentially just this is how you wear it. Very cute. So here are my two new Yato bags. They are really nice. I mean, I can't say that they're not nice. Just the excitement of it all kind of died down, you know? And it does match my shoes. So we'll see. I was talking to a friend of mine and she was like, I don't know when I get mine because it's taking so long. I might just resell it. And that might be the case for me as well. I might put something on the market to sell. Maybe the orange one. Because I already have an orange bag and green clearly is more, more of my favorite color than orange. But we shall see. And I just wanted to show you guys um, these two. Nice, like definitely the same orange. I mean, it's cute. I mean, a lot of times I, I get things and I want to keep them because they look nice. In theory, like, oh, it's going to look nice with all my bags on my, my bag wall. But it's like, do I need to really have both, you know? So yeah, that is what I recently purchased. These are all the things that I either purchased this week or got in the mail this week. And yeah, I'm fine. I'm excited that I finally have my Yato bag and my Telfer bag. Definitely excited for the Telfer bag for sure. Um, I already have my eye on some other Telfer bags that I want to check out. I got a problem. I love Telfer. I love my Telfer bags. I think they're just such a good essential bag. They that small bag fits so much, and just love it. But um. So yeah, that is it for my weekly vlog, y'all. Um, it was a very, very busy week. I was hoping to be able to show you guys how I do my photo shoots in my house. Um, but I'll probably do a whole video dedicated to that for anybody who is interested, who is an entrepreneur and is working, thinking about ways to create content for their social media platforms as well as their websites. Especially because I, and I am doing some updates to my website. So I'll wait till everything is finished and show you guys the before and after and what I did. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So stay tuned for that. But this was how it is like usually for me a day in the week for me and there's so many things i didn't show like um contacting brands getting some brand um sponsorships and partnerships set up those are some things that i just kind of do like you know via email um i took you guys on a photo shoot for my brand still waiting on the photos for that which i i cannot wait to get and will be sharing with you guys so make sure you guys follow me on my 
other social media platforms if you follow me on instagram you guys probably have seen some behind the scene clips and we'll see you know things in real time happening so follow me at naomi t grant on instagram and that is it this is how my week usually goes as a mother as an entrepreneur and yeah just kind of going with the flow trying to make the most of my life enjoying myself but also keeping very 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 busy these next few weeks are going to be pretty intense my mom is going to be going through radiation for the next three weeks and you know as a family we will be supporting her in any way that we can we want her to be very comfortable and not have to worry about much for the next few weeks so it's gonna be a lot like you know it's not i don't have cancer it is not happening in my body but it's always difficult watching a loved one go through something like this so please send your prayers if you can to my mother during this time and just really want to surround her with love and make her feel as as comfortable as she possibly can and um yeah it's just a lot i just feel like life is just sometimes like that you guys you guys know like it's just always so many things kind of happening and you juggle a lot and i know that my experience right now is not something that only i have experienced i can't just something that affects almost everyone could think of one person in their lives that they know who has gone through cancer you know has had cancer or passed away from cancer unfortunately you know I know it is not something that is directly affecting me and this is why I really did want to talk about it a little bit um I try not to be get too deep or too personal on here because it is a really fun and exciting place for me to share fashion and clothes and all of those things but um I also wanted to tell you guys because to be quite honest there's a big reason why I have not really been as consistent on social media and it's just because life has just been happening and um it's really hard to get in front of a camera and talk about clothes and stuff like that when that's not really like the most important i mean i don't think clothes and fashion is the most important thing to anybody in the world you know but um it's just other things going on that make it very easy for me to make to say why I'm not, i don't feel like sitting in front of a camera and chatting you know but I will make it my mission to create content um, more frequently on here. I really want to create content twice a week. Um, I try to do set days, but that might not work out. Just kind of give them what the next few weeks are going to be like. And then Jaden goes to school right after our trip. So definitely twice a week. And oh, life is just so crazy. But also, thank God for another day to be here and to be talking to you guys. So... Thank you guys so much for tuning in and, and joining and I just really am grateful for you guys who watch every week, the people who are subscribed to my channel, the people who comment, like, and share, all of that. I see you guys, like the people who do it consistently in this community. It means so much to me and I hope you guys take care, be well, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. I forgot to tell you guys, I got this new nightgown from Target. I love this nightgown. <laughs> this is my second one. I actually have a nightgown like this in gray that I bought yeah, last year. And the reason why I love nightgowns is because this might be TMI, but when I have to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, it's just less work. <laughs> but it's so cute and it's so comfortable and soft. I have a pajama set, a top and a pant. In the same material and it is so cozy and so comfortable so if you guys i'm gonna link this in the description box as well as all the other things that i mentioned in the video but if you guys do not have these pajamas from this specific line from target you guys are missing out the pajamas are so cozy and honestly they rival some pajama sets that i've seen sold in you know higher end department stores like bloomingdale's and neiman marcus and you know all of those places and they're just it's just so cozy i mean given this is twenty dollars it's not gonna last as long as a pajama set that you spend you know upwards of a hundred dollars for but if you don't have that price point to pay and you don't really care to pay that price point i do think they 
think that this is worth it and I will be purchasing more in different colors and hopefully I'm able to snag a few on sale. So I will link it down below. Right now I am going to take off my makeup because I do not go to bed with makeup on and um, I'm going to just try to get Jaden to feel a little bit better. He's been coughing, waking up coughing. So I think I'm going to have another night where I am on um you know, regular mommy duty, getting her kids to feel better after um, having, not feeling too well. So, wish me luck another night of me sleeping on a little to no sleep. But you know what? These are the things that you do for your kids. What else do you do, right? I have to edit this video anyway, so it'll, it'll keep me up. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.